start on PS2. It's just kind of the trend. Yeah. I mean, it is pretty good for Spacey's for sure. But, uh, a lot of characters benefit from it. Like, Samus has this uh, missile canceling, like Fancy Feast is doing. And uh, Samus is a pretty hard character to deal with in PM because her neutral game is just so good. Like, she can, there's just so much coming at you, and just she has uh, too many options, to be honest. I guess a character can't really have too many options. But that's, what, that's, what, that's, that's, that's why Brawl died. Made out I had too many options. <laughs> you can definitely have too many options. It's just, I don't know. I was playing against a spade today, and uh, I got this, like, basically, I spiked him. But he did this thing where, you know, you can uh, basically infinite wall jump with Samus. Samus okay. And he got that and it's just like, what do you do against it? You can't do anything. Nothing. No. Oh, that's, that's dumb, man. Like, it was a legit, like, spike. But he's just, well, it's a wall right there. So I can just, like, wall jump, B reverse, wall jump, B reverse. And mm -hmm. That's too much. Stuff like that is just crazy. But anyways, uh, Mars definitely was his uh, map. Well, I'm not too sure because PM gave Samus a lot of new stuff, but uh, in Melee, traditionally, yeah, uh, Marth is supposed to win this matchup. He gets pretty free, uh, uh, I guess, off throw combos. He definitely Here. combos Samus pretty hard. Uh, but Here he has to get in close to Samus, too. We're just going to change the matchup. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, oh, this is his opportunity. He doesn't uh, get in. And Samus is very, a very hard character to uh, edge guard. She has just too, a lot of options. She can uh, air dodge. You can go out for an attack. She can air dodge it. Then she can tether out of it. Yeah. She can also drop down up B. Her up B is just really good in general. It comes out frame one. So if you try to pressure her shield, it's definitely coming out. Yeah, plus with the recovery, like the way since has like the ball recovery attack, this she the Zer auto grabs the ledge. Really makes it easier. But then exactly. the PM mechanic of world, two people well, tether can grab the ledge and. And a person can hold on to the ledge, which gives Samus even more options to recover. Oh man. This thing's dash back and forth. It's nice forward tilt. Up tilt. Oh, doesn't confirm the kill though. We got, we got a little chain in the back right here. As you see over there, a player came up, chain in the background for Fancy Feast. Hey, Peter. Yeah, can you tell them like not to come on stage? Yeah, can you tell yeah. them to not come on stage unless they're just commentators or, or the players? Yeah, next or next game, yeah. Or they might be next, I guess. No, next. Yeah, we got a... Uh, okay, Fancy Beast almost confirms the kill. It's a nice uh, up tilt into the nair. Into a missile for the kill, and Fancy Feast takes game one. That's pretty handy. Oh, unlocking trophies. Here we go. We got Tails. <laughs> 30,000 walking Tails, distance. Best support character in the game. You wish. The Sonic game. What? I was going to say, if you're talking about uh, Smash, I'll say Waddle-Dee's is number one. Waddle-Dee? Waddle-Dee's Waddle -Dee is number one. Especially like when you throw Waddle-Dee like, in Brawl, throw Waddle-Dee and it walks towards you. And then you just see it jump and, and like kill you. That's like the best feeling what in the world. What does that ever kill? That doesn't kill to like 900%. Huh? I think kill at like a good 130%. Like, I don't like, think so. Like you never see Waddle Dee's jump. But what they uh, do is dangerous. Yeah. I don't know. People are like, oh, Waddle Dee's. You know, Waddle Dee's got the, the laser beam. And Gordo, Gordo's actually kill. The Waddle Dee jump. Waddle Dee jump is like it's some serious stuff. Like you never expect it. Ooh, nice grab. You definitely go out there, drop down back air. See, stuff like that is like, how do you deal with that? You don't. Yeah, you can't really go. I mean, you can go off stage against Samus, but then when Samus has like bomb jumps and tether like, grabs. Yeah, air dodging. It. I think, I don't know. I just pretty. Air dodging and the tether grab is just a little too broken, I would say. I mean, it was in melee too. It's, it's still dumb, but. Yeah, it, but the way it works, like revolve around PM, is just like, especially with like the ledge mechanics and all this other stuff, is just, I don't know. Totally a different game on the ledge from any other Smash game. It's like this and Smash 4 have a different ledge game than Melee or Brawl does. Fancy Feet's having a field day right here. Throw misses out, down smashes and all such. Keeping good control of the ledge, doesn't get the confirm on the ledge to get up. Yeah, Fancy Feet's is definitely uh, keeping good stage control. Uh, he's definitely controlling, uh, he's making a uh, Marth move all the way if he wants it to. So. I just not notice that. You see, like in the background, next to the big jumbo on the small screens, that large cycling three logos. 
nice. He's got Project M, he's like the Master Ball, and he's like Super Smash Bros. Project M. Nice for Smash Bros. Too. I think, think they should add in like transformation. Like, I don't know, like, this no, is like some balance transformation. Like, this would be like a Pokemon Stadium 3 where they have like a couple of balance transformations. Well, if, yeah, if they make a new one, but I. I don't know. For some, this stage is just really good because it's about the size of FD and it doesn't have like Battlefield platforms, so it's really good. It has a lower ceiling, so it's pretty big size. So, I mean, it kind of works out for like every character in the game. I mean, some people don't like playing here, but. Yeah, it's, it's really it's neutral to be honest. I mean, this is the Smashville of like Project M. Like, it's like probably like one of the like legit, one of the most well designed neutral stages. Yeah, it really is. Get down tilt, and uh, you have to combo Samus a certain way. Like, uh, she can nair out of everything, and she can also uh, her up B gets her out of everything too. So you have to like have a more patient combo game when you play against Samus. And he just runs off nair. That was almost stopped. That's for, uh, it's a downward angle forward smash for the kill. Got the edge guard off of it, and that's uh, game two. Fancy Feast takes it 2-0. Yeah, we got the twenties on the stream. Twenties. What, what costume is that? I don't even know. I don't know. Is that a, is, do you play Metroid games? Is that custom or? I don't play any Metroid games. I don't know. I'll figure it out at some point. Somebody dropped the controller hard. Okay, we got a